Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. So we are back with another affordable skincare routine video because in this video, I am going to be telling you guys the best, best of the breast skincare routine for only $40. No, you didn't hear me wrong. $40, everything you need to get set up with a good, simple, functional skincare routine that is literally less than a lot of single skincare products. It's possible. It's gonna blow your mind with how good these products are, but before I even get into it, I want to say that all the products that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you do wanna go shopping, I make a small commission from those links that helps to support me and my channel. But as always, with every single video, no pressure, they are just there for your reference if you feel like getting any of these products. Now, I know some of you might be watching and be like, Hiram, how is it even possible to afford an entire skincare routine that is less than a single moisturizer that I find on TikTok. Au contraire. I've always believed that you can find good skincare products at any price point and that everyone deserves access to skincare. And you know what? Not everyone can afford products that are $20, $30 each. I know it too well. When I was first getting into skincare, I had absolutely no money to spend on products and could only afford one product at a time. And I literally thought there was no way to afford an entire routine because all the products that I saw online were upwards of $50 each. But whether you're watching this video because you want to build a skincare routine for yourself or you want to save a little bit of money on your skincare routine, or because your girlfriend keeps nagging you to have a skincare routine and you don't know where the fuck to start. Regardless of your reason, everyone should be able to access skincare. And in this routine, it will cover all the basics, the essentials, most necessary parts of having a skincare routine, all for just $40. Is this routine luxurious, fancy, products made by Zeus himself? No, it's not. And honestly, for a lot of products that claim to be very luxurious, I don't even like them. This is a very simple routine. These products will get the job done, but I will be honest with you guys, they aren't chock full of really fancy, extensive ingredients ingredients. They don't have fancy fragrances or packaging. I just want you guys to be set up with effective products that'll get the job done. No frills, nada. So without further ado, let's get into this routine. So on my channel, I've always shared that there are four necessary parts of a skincare routine. Cleanser, treatment, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And if you want to learn about each of these steps and how to cleanse your skin, how to use a treatment, how to moisturize, how to use a sunscreen, I have an entire skincare 101 series that I've done on my channel and I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out. It breaks down everything there. But let's cut to the chase with the first step, cleansing. When it comes to using a cleanser, Cleanser, you want to use a water-based cleanser that can go deep into your pores and push out all the nasty shit that's piled up in there. Trust me, your skin goes through so much shit every single day and we don't even realize, but the pores know. They always know. know. Stuff like dirt, sweat, sunscreen, pollution, the list goes on and on. And fortunately, you can find some really good cleanser formulas that are very affordable. And I wanna talk about the CeraVe cleansers. My personal favorite is the foaming facial cleanser, but they also have their hydrating facial cleanser, their benzoyl peroxide cleanser. There's a bunch you can choose from. I personally would recommend the foaming facial cleanser because it's a really good, simple formula. That's a really good price point, $4 to be exact. Now I will say the one that I'm holding up in front of me is not $4. This is a big ass cleanser that will last you a really long time. So if you wanna spend a little bit more and get this one, you're more than welcome to, but the smaller size that should last you about two to three months costs $4. Now, if you've watched some of my videos before, you might be like, Hiram, what about the double cleanse? You can't just not double cleanse. I will be honest. <laughs> I personally do recommend double cleansing wherever possible. And if you don't know what double cleansing is, it's using a first cleanser to break down all the sunscreen, makeup, and oil on your face that you can rinse off before going in with a water-based cleanser. Double cleansing is amazing for the skin, but cleansing oils and cleansing balms tend to be a little bit pricier. It's hard to find one that's even anywhere around the $10 mark. So for the sake of affordability, I didn't include it in this video, but that is why I recommend the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. That one is formulated to be able to deeply cleanse all the excess oil on your face. And if you aren't able to afford a first cleanse, like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, it's good to use a little bit of a stronger cleanser formula that's able to get through anything that is left on your face, whether it be sunscreen, makeup, dirt, whatever. I would recommend using a product like that. But if you can't afford a first cleanse, I definitely would recommend trying out a cleansing balm. I personally really like the Bad Habit Beauty Cleansing Balm or the Burt's Bees cleansing balms as well. They'll be linked down below if you want to check them out. But if you do want a cost-effective skincare routine, just stick with the CeraVe cleanser. Step number two, treatment. Now, what the hell is a treatment? A treatment is any product that either helps to repair or prevent any damage within the skin. And I personally feel that the best skincare routines have two different treatments in them, exfoliation and retinol. First, let's talk about exfoliation. If you want a really effective skincare routine, it's good to use an exfoliating serum that will help to dissolve all the excess dead skin cells on your face. And a really cost-effective and gentle one is the Ordinary Lactic 
lactic acid 5% serum. Lactic acid is on the more gentle side of exfoliating ingredients and will work well if you have more sensitive or reactive skin. Oh, I should mention, all the products that I'm mentioning in the video are good for sensitive and reactive skin. I worked really hard to make sure that all the formulas can be as accessible as possible to you guys. And this serum is a very gentle but effective way of consistently getting all those dead skin cells off your face. Now, 5% isn't super strong, but they do have stronger formulas available for a little bit of a higher price. But I recommend this one because you can use it multiple times a week and it'll help to really consistently keep those dead skin cells off your face, as opposed to using a stronger formula that you can only use every once in a while and looking more crusty on the off days. That's why I personally exfoliate my skin about two to three times per week. And this is a great formula to do that with. The other ingredient is retinol and retinol does tend to be a very pricey ingredient, but I personally recommend the Inky List Retinol Serum. This one's a super good price point, but very effective at making sure that your skin is repaired of damage. Cause what retinol helps to do best is get rid of that damage on your skin, whether it's premature aging, dark spots, sunspots, dark circles, all of those different things. Retinol literally has data to show that it's effective at getting rid of those concerns. And personally why I feel it's a necessary part of the treatment step of your skincare routine. Now, just a note, never, ever, ever use these at the same time. Exfoliating products should not be mixed with retinol products. I recommend offsetting each night you use these. One night use an exfoliant, one night use a retinol, then take a break and just continue that pattern for beautiful glowy skin. That's all it takes. As we get into this, I do want to make a disclaimer. Next up is the third step moisturizer. This product that I'm about to mention is very simple and maybe not even a product people would consider using as a face moisturizer, but it's effective and it'll definitely get the job done. The Gold Bond Pure Moisture Daily Body and Face Lotion. Now, if you aren't familiar with Gold Bond, I've talked about their hand creams and how they were able to get rid of my hand eczema, but they also have products that you can use on the face as well. And this is one of them. And given the price point of $5, I'm actually really impressed with the ingredients. It has glycerin, dimethicone, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, a bunch of really good ingredients for how cheap this product is. And I would say the texture and consistency is pretty good for a variety of skin types, but definitely would be best for anyone who has normal skin and maybe a little bit on the drier side. And there's a lot of product in this, so it will last you a long ass time. Is it super fancy or luxurious? No, it's not, but it will definitely do what it's supposed to do. Keep your skin moisturized and hydrated. And if you're someone who has more oily skin, I would recommend just using this product at night and sticking with the next product that I'm gonna talk about for the daytime. The final fourth step of the skincare routine, sunscreen. The one product that everyone should be using. If you're skeptical and still watching, this is the part that I recommend listening to. Good sunscreen formulas are really, really hard to find at a low price point because sunscreen is just super expensive to make. But there are options. And the one that I recommend for this routine is the Bare Republic SPF 30 Face to Gel Lotion. This one is a great mineral sunscreen formula that only utilizes zinc oxide. So it's amazing for people with really sensitive skin. And I like it because in comparison to a lot of other sunscreens out there, this one has a very lightweight consistency that won't feel too heavy on the skin as you go about your day. Because we've all dealt with the super heavy, greasy sunscreen that feels like you have cake on your skin throughout the day. No bueno. This formula doesn't feel like that. And it is formulated for the face, which is nice when it comes to sunscreens because usually body sunscreens are not as, how do I say, pleasant to use on the face. Now I will be honest, is this formula good? Is it a great product? Yes. Is it one of the absolute best sunscreen formulas I've ever used? Not necessarily because like I said before, sunscreen is usually really expensive to make. And personally, I found that a lot of my favorite sunscreens will be about $20 and up. If you do have some wiggle room with your finances, I honestly always recommend investing into a sunscreen because that is the most important step of the skincare routine. And I wanna make sure that you guys are buying a product that you're actually going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you do wanna splurge a little bit, I will have my video talking about all of the best sunscreens of 2022 linked in the comment section down below. But if you want a good affordable one that'll get the job done, this is your one right here. And that is it, that's all the products. Like I said before, if you are new to skincare or you wanna make sure that you're using your products right, I will have the Skincare 101 series linked in the description box. That'll get you everything you need to know to get started on your skincare routine. But I hope you guys found some good recommendations that'll help to cut a little bit of the cost off your skincare routine because I totally get it. Skincare can be really expensive and add up really quickly, especially when you have to repurchase these products like every three months. So no worries, I got you. I hope this was able to help. And like I've said before, if you are someone who's struggling to find the money to pay for skincare products, more than anything, I am so freaking proud of you for sticking to taking care of your skin, for investing in your health. I think that's so amazing and honestly so much better than even me when I started skincare. As always, financial stability always comes first. So please be smart with your finances and only buy what you can afford. But I hope these recommendations were able to make it a little bit easier when it comes to navigating the very overwhelming world of skincare and all the costs associated with it. If you do feel like getting any of the products that I've talked about in today's video, I'll have them all linked in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one.